No, how, no matter how great the task, no matter how great the vision, you can, you, can, uh, you can tell those who are around you, those who are connected with you, those who are walking with you and, and, and seeing this vision come, come to pass or seeing this problem come to pass, you can say, you know what, yeah, you know, let's just be still. I, I've seen God before in this. I've, I've learned. I've learned about God. I've learned about His ways. I've, I've, I've learned some things about God. You know, uh, as it relates to believing for some big things. He said, "So let me let me just show you something here. Let's just let's just be still because I learned how to be still and just know Him. I know how He is. I know how He moves. And so this is the time. This is what happens when we are resting in Him. Okay." Psalms 37, verse uh, 7 says this. It says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. All right? All right? He says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Mm-hmm. Well, you ain't doing nothing. You got to do this. You got to do that. Let me tell you something. If God has not given you any instructions, don't move. <laughs> I, I was talking to, I had a great conversation with my niece last night. And one of the things that I was sharing with her, and I, this, was just, <clears throat> this was just revealed to me uh, by the Lord as we were talking. And I put it on my Facebook page that, you know, Impatience is connected to selfishness. Okay, In, <clears throat> when you have a person who's walking, uh, who's impatient, who who's who's walking uh, in, in uh, impatient, or they're an impatient person, they got they, it's got to happen right now. <clears throat> all right, it is connected to selfishness. Okay, that they will do anything and do whatever they got to do to make this thing happen. All right, even to the point to where if if, if, if you are connected in some way to that thing happening, they're going to do everything to push you. They're going to say everything. They're going to, you know, they're going to say the wrong things. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna say some things and, you know, try to try to get you to put some fire on you and all that stuff. But let me just say, say to you today that uh, don't be moved by impatient people. Okay? Because... Um, the reality is, is that God is, God is really exposing the mold of the heart and really what it is is selfishness. I want what I want now. Okay? We see that with the children of Israel. Okay? You know, and, and uh, if you read, read throughout the scriptures, you know, we want, we want ourselves a king <laughs> like the other nations. All right? You know, it, you know in, in the, an impatient person uh, is, uh, is also a selfish person. All right, you know what a selfish person is. They only think about themselves. All right, not really thinking about okay, is this the process of God? Is this the way God wants us to go? Is this the way God wants it to happen? I don't care about that. I want what I want right now. It's all about me. <laughs> okay, and so and so you cannot even allow. Now hear the Spirit of the Lord saying this as well that He is even not going to allow. Uh, these individuals to push you anymore. Mm -hmm. God says, stand your ground. He says, because I'm, he says, he said, because I'm speaking because this is my project. He says, and I'm not going to allow the voice, <clears throat> this voice of selfishness, okay, this voice of self selfishness to cause you to delay my work, to delay <clears throat> my process or get involved in the, in, in the, uh, process of my working, all right. It's just like someone. It's just like a, a construction that uh, work that's going on. Construction project is going on, you know. And they're doing the work. And they're building you a building, or building you a house, you know. And they're doing their job. And the last thing they need is for you coming up in there, looking over their shoulder, talking about, okay, why are you doing that? Okay, why are you put that screw there? Or why, you know, why, you know, it just makes sense to put that boulder here or put this two by four here. Or, you know, that, you know, I used to work with my, you know, with my father when I was a teenager. And I'm telling you, that used to bug him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That used to bug him. 
And it was so funny because we were in the truck, we were talking, and he said, he said, man, that just bugged me. He said, my goodness, he said, folks just, you know, folks just, just won't, uh, you know, they just, you know, they just won't just get out of the way, all right? And so, you know, he's trying to work and he's trying to make sure that everything is, you know, put where it's supposed to be and, and all this stuff and, you know, the measurements is right and everything. And so, he's, you know, he's focused on what he's doing. And so, you know, he's got to stop and ask, answer questions and, and all that, which is throwing them off. And so, you know, God is saying, God is saying I'm not going to allow that to happen. He says, because I'm performing this because this is bigger than you. This thing that I'm releasing, this is bigger than you. He says, I'm not going to allow the voice of selfishness, okay, that is connected to impatience to cause you to get in the place here or to get, or to, uh, get in the way, all right? And see, what, see what, uh, what these type of individuals don't realize is that, that when you begin to put your hands in something that God is already working on for you, you're slowing the process down. You're delaying things. Okay? You're getting in the way. Okay? Just like our example, the construction, we're going to say, okay, you're not supposed to be here. <clears throat> you know, we got, you know, you need to get off the property here so we can, you know, do the work. And, you know, because now there's so many things are going on, you know, now they're focused, you know, they got to take their focus off the work. And now they got to be, now they got to put their focus on making sure you don't get hurt or you don't step on a nail or run into, you know, stacks of wood or whatever. They got to take their focus off of what needs to be done <laughs> to deal with you. And so God says, I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to allow it. I'm not going to allow the selfish voices to frustrate my plans. Whew, I heard that. I'm not going to allow the, this, the selfish voices, selfish individuals to frustrate my plans anymore. Whew, glory to God. So hallelujah. Come on, just bless God on that one. Just bless God on that one. Hallelujah. So God is really adamant about this. You know, he's, you know he wants this thing to come to pass. You know, we, you know, we, we sometimes think that we really want, you know, the things that we see to come to pass. You know, God wanted uh, that much more. He's like, no, I really want you to walk in this. Okay? Why? Because it's about his kingdom. And so he says, he says, I, I have a plan. I have an agenda. <clears throat> All right? He said, I want you to walk in this out. I want you to walk in this out. You know, <laughs> even, even, when it's, <clears throat> even when it has to do with prosperity as relates to now prospering area of your life, but as relates to finances, God wants to give it to you so bad. Why? Because it is the testimony to the nation of his goodness. All right? It's a testimony of of, of of how of how as 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 you have as you wait on the Lord, okay, and as you follow the instructions, you will see these results. Okay? And so God said, this is why it's necessary. It's necessary that my people see that I can bring them out of debt, that I can prosper them. That I that I, that I meant what I said and I wanted them to prosper and be in hell. You know, these things, God says, I, this is why it has to happen. And so he's God is at him. He's like, this is this has got to be released. This has got to be performed. And he wants it done. <clears throat> he wants it done. Hebrews, the third chapter, verse, verse 7. Start at verse 7. Hebrews, uh, the third chapter, verse number 7. I pray that you're, you're getting something out of this and just being encouraged uh, from the word of God. Okay? Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, today, if you hear my voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. In the day of trial, trial in the wilderness, when your, for, when your fathers tested me and tried me and saw my works 40 years, therefore, I was angry with that generation and said, they always go astray in their heart and they have not known my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Okay? What happened then? It was a spirit of unbelief 